Mmm, oh man, that tech news. Ah, just makes you want to go, ooh, ah. If you've ever tried to overclock an Intel chip that wasn't specifically marked with the K, you probably were met with a great deal of frustration. But that may be changing soon, thanks to some new motherboards from ASRock. Although they still can't magically unlock a locked multiplier, ASRock attempts to get around this restriction by increasing the CPU's maximum thermal design power. And on Comet Lake, it looks like ASRock is letting users nearly double the default TDP, increasing the effective frequency by over 40% by adjusting the base clock. No word on how much these motherboards might cost, but hopefully it won't wind up being cheaper just to buy an unlocked CPU in the first place. Who needs warranties, right? Yeah, screw them. They can't prove you've overclocked it. <laughs> Are you in the market for a laptop? Well, if there's a particular model you've got your eye on, you're maybe out of luck. There's a supply shortage on notebook computers that is expected to hit within the next month. Unsurprisingly, the coronavirus pandemic is affecting key supply chains around the world, but most notably in Southeast Asia where tons of electronics manufacturing takes place. And of course, with everyone staying at home and relying even more than we already did on our electronics to keep us occupied, there's additional demand which is just making the problem even worse. Similar to how we're seeing the Nintendo Switch go for 500 bucks on Amazon. Do y'all really need to play Animal Crossing that badly? The turnip market is going nuts right now. Honestly, I find it kind of boring. I got, do you have it? Yeah, I have it. And you don't like it? I don't like it. We probably should include that. People get really mad. If you prefer cloud streaming to local gaming for whatever reason, you might want to take note that Nvidia's GeForce Now streaming service supports DLSS 2.0. DLSS, which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, is an AI-powered technique for upscaling. Essentially, NVIDIA is training neural networks to upscale images more accurately to lighten the load on the GPU itself. Since game streaming does have to make some quality sacrifices in order to ensure frames can be rendered quickly enough to be sent over the internet without too much input lag, this is certainly good news. The first game to get DLSS 2.0 support will be Control, but more games should be coming later. Good news for those of us not wanting to blow our whole stimulus checks on graphics cards. Just on subscriptions. Yeah, just on subscriptions. Not that different. Now on to the quick bits, baby. <laughs> Apple just launched an updated version of its 13-inch MacBook Pro, but don't get too excited. Other than more storage and updated CPU, the only real change here is a replacement to the horrible, terrible, no good, very bad butterfly switch keyboard with a scissor switch magic keyboard. I've actually used that, it's pretty good. Huh. Well, when you fall off the horse, go back to your old horse, I guess. That's or how the keyboard. Goes. Yeah. <laughs> Microsoft's dual screen Surface Neo was supposed to launch this fall alongside the dual screen version of Windows called Windows 10X. But like many other things that are being delayed, it's being delayed. However, Microsoft is still apparently planning to release Windows 10X. Huh? It's like your date skipped prom, but you got dropped. Where is this going? Just oh. Read it. Timmy's coming over here to talk, what? what I, I missed something, but I think it got dirty. Oh. <laughs> Ray Tracing is coming to yet another huge title, World of Warcraft's newest expansion, Shadowlands. It's set to get ray tracing support as an alpha version of the game shows a spot for ray tracing option. It can't yet be enabled, but it looks like that'll change by the time that the game gets released later this summer. Is it just me or is it kind of on the nose that we're talking about a game called Shadowlands with ray tracing? That oh, is that's horrible. That's a that's, that's, dumb. that's a pretty good pun actually, I like it. Okay. French airplane manufacturer Airbus went to replace bomb sniffing dogs with bomb sniffing sensors. They're currently testing a small device that kind of looks like a fancy smoke detector, which is supposed to go in airport screening areas to see if anyone's trying to smuggle explosives through a checkpoint. If only we could find a way to spot people who were going to listen to their headphones really loudly before they got on board. What? Seems like John has a very specific tick. Yeah. A very specific trigger. Not like people that just like open their laptop and listen to it? And researchers at Waterloo University here in good old Canada have developed a browser add-on called Mitigator that's supposed to be able to tell you if a site is actually following its privacy policy, specifically in the way it handles cookies. It's unclear if or when this will take form as a browser extension, or it might just be built into a popular browser, but it should definitely beat having your cookies mishandled. I mean, usually I take mine out of the oven a bit too soon, so, well, anyway, Get subscribed. <laughs> Tech news. Do it.